What's up? This is DZ Kane doing an interview with This Indulge. Um, enjoy. My story is from the start of making videos. It was when I was eight, eight years old, and my mom bought me one of those cheap little flip cameras, and she bought me a laptop from a pawn shop or something. And I just started filming everything with my brothers, making little short films that obviously sucked at the time. But I was just having fun playing around, uploading them to YouTube. And I guess I just found it fun, started doing it more often. And I guess kind of took it more serious in high school and started to hang out with other YouTubers in Austin, trying to learn how to build a following and uh, went from there. Part of it could be inspiring others to start something like a YouTube channel because it's so much easier, especially now, now that you could just pick up a phone, shoot a whole video on your phone, edit it on your phone, upload it on your phone. Yeah, it's just this is the best time to start. Right now, I guess I am uh, just filming as much as I can, putting out as much content as I can because, again, it not only entertains people, but it, it, it shows that people can make a living off of doing whatever. It's just as long as you film it, I guess, put it up on the internet and you'll just get fans. The inspiration could probably be from other YouTubers that I watch or even it's weird for me. I can draw inspiration from anywhere, even just listening listening to music uh, from some of my favorite artists. Just anything that's productive or creative, it, it kind of tells me, hey, like, this guy I'm listening to is making money off of this. I could just be filming something right now and making money off of it, I guess. Yeah, but of course, money isn't the... the primary motive to doing it. It's also really fun. Not really much. Honestly, I just wake up. I stay in bed for like two hours. I get up, brush my teeth, probably think of video ideas. It's pretty, that's pretty much it, really. I just film pretty much. Now, other than that, I'm just doing like the back end stuff. Um, trying to find new people to hire or tax stuff, I guess, which sucks. With the internet, it's crazy what you can do. In high school, I just, I remember I spent all my time in class emailing meme pages, my videos, asking them to post on their meme page. And that's the primary way that I grew. Even Worldstar, I reached out to Worldstar and they posted like three of my videos. And when you get all that traction on your page, the algorithms for, for Instagram and YouTube kind of help push it because they see, oh, poor, clicking on this. And uh, yeah, it's really not hard. I've seen, I've had so many friends that have grew huge pages. And I don't really know yet. I know the end goal for me personally is I want to be more in the movie industry, like acting and directing, even producing. But for specifically Stephen Kane, I'm not too sure. I guess I'll just see where it goes. As selfish as it sounds, yeah, but I feel like that's an important aspect to it. Um, you kind of have to believe in yourself when you start. If there's two people fighting in a ring, I always say this example, but let's say there's one boxer that's really nervous and he's not confident that he's going to win. And then there's another boxer on the other side of the ring that's saying this is no problem. It's going to knock out the other thing. The more confident it's going to win. So... You just gotta, anything that you put your mind to, you just gotta believe in yourself. Um, manifestation, um, law of attraction, which is, you know, your thoughts create your reality. Yeah, it's all about mindset. You just gotta know that you're gonna make it wherever you're trying to go 100%. Anything with self improvement, I just try to build confidence every day. Um, try to just improve it, Harry. Um, just try to improve every aspect. Joseph Costello, he's another YouTuber in Austin. Um, I could probably say I wouldn't have got anywhere that I am today without him because he was the first YouTuber. He was the first YouTuber I met in Austin, and I think 
hanging out with him kind of showed me that this is real and all these creators are real people. And he took me under his wing and he collabed with me when I had like 900 subscribers. So yeah, definitely Justin is a huge mentor. I guess my friends, when I see my friends grind, <clears throat> like let's say I'm just sitting in my room watching Netflix and I look at my friends' stories and they're out filming or they're out being productive. That's really motivating because then I look at myself and I'm like, yeah, I'm just laying on my bed doing nothing. I need to, I need to catch it to their level. So yeah, having friends that do cool, productive stuff is uh, definitely a plus. It's always hard to answer that question because uh, advice is, can't really be tailored to anybody. Uh, what I did worked for me and might not work for other people, but um, any advice I could give is probably going to come off a cliche, like follow your dreams, don't quit. But if I were to think of one specific advice, probably could be, I guess don't listen to what anybody tells you. Again, that's cliche, but it's, uh, it's, it's true. Don't, don't let me saying that that's cliche not let you take that advice because I, I've seen so many friends I've had so many friends in high school that have been created as creative as me and their parents shut them down instantly and say no you gotta go to school for this not saying don't go to school but just I guess don't let people tell you what to do you know I don't know I'm, pro I'm probably just rambling that's fine my YouTube channel is Steezy Kane my next video, I'm not too sure. I'm always starting with a clean slate every time, so I don't really know what my next video is. I'm trying to think of something to add. If there's a good wolf and a bad wolf, which one do you think would win? It's kind of a trick question because the one that would win is the one you would feed. So I know that sounds corny as fuck, but think of the wolves as like your thoughts. You know, bad wolf is your negative thoughts, good wolf is your positive thoughts. The one you feed is going to be the stronger one. It's going to be the one. Law of attraction, manifestation.